Hey everyone, Kyle Mazur here. Jared asked me to give you a little intro to Aperture 3. Um, so here we go. When you open up Aperture, you should see um, a window that looks similar to this. Um, I've seen it where it doesn't show you this over here. This is called your inspectors panel. So just in case that happens, um, push your inspectors button. It will either hide or show your inspectors panel. Um, your inspectors panel has three options. There's your library, your metadata, and your adjustments. Your library shows you all the various projects that you have. Those are these little brown boxes. Every time I go out and I shoot, I stick all my, follow, my, my images into a project, and it keeps them organized nice and neat. Um, next, you have your metadata, which is obviously just the metadata for your images. Excuse me. And finally, your adjustments. Um, I don't use this adjustment um, too much. I'll show you another one that you'll use, um, which I think is much more useful than this. Over here, you have your main view here. Um, we are currently in something called split view mode. Okay, and if you look up here, it says split view, and we have that little check that just shows you that we're in split view mode. It gives you a big picture with all of the other pictures inside of your project um, underneath. You can, of course, go into browser mode, which will then show you all of the images inside of that project. Um, if you double click an image, it will show you um, a big version of that, and it puts you into something called viewer mode. And if you look up here at the top, we are viewer mode now has a check. To get back, you can either click on browser over here, or you can double click again and it will take you back into your browser mode. But personally, I like to leave it into split view mode. So we're going to import some images into Aperture. So to do that, um, if you have your, your computer set up to automatically open up Aperture, um, it will then automatically open up the import dialog box as well when you hook your camera up or hook your, put your memory card in. In this case, I'm going to push the import button because my pictures are actually located on the hard drive. So it will show you your pictures on your memory card, okay? And the little check means that we're going to be importing them. And for this case, I'm going to import it into a new project, and I'm going to call that project Fro. Um, you can, of course, change the name. Um, automatically split, to pro split projects means if you have multiple shoots, if you shot something on one day and then the next day did another shoot, it will automatically split them into different projects. Um, and in this case, do not import duplicates. These are actually duplicates that I'm importing, so I'm going to uncheck that. And store files in the Aperture library, I'm going to leave them there. So then we just hit Import Checked. And you'll see that now over here, we have a new project called Fro, and it says that my import has been completed. So, to do uh, my edits, the first thing I do is I push the F key. The F key puts us into full screen mode, okay? And then I push the H key, which brings up my heads-up display of the inspector's panel, okay? This heads-up display of the inspector's panel is the exact same display that we saw over here in the inspector's panel. The nice thing about this one is you can now take this and move it around, okay? So that way it doesn't get in the way of you editing your image. You can lock it into place if you'd like by pushing that little button. And it resizes your image. Personally, I like to leave it like this. <clears throat> okay. You should know that the first thing that Aperture does is it boosts your color, boosts your hue, adds some sharpening um, to your image. You can change these presets if you'd like. Um, but I generally leave them alone and just edit the picture the way it, I would normally do it. Um, so here's your exposure, your enhance options, highlights and shadows, levels, um, and then colors, individual colors and saturations. If you're looking for something that you don't see, you just push your adjustments um, menu over here, and it will give you all these different options. The little, little round um, dot here means that it's already open, um, so you can just add a different um, thing. It adds it to there, and you can get, get through and start editing your image. Oh, beach ball, cool. Um, someone needs more RAM. Um, if you want to change um, a different picture, you can either push your arrow button and you can cycle through. You can also move your mouse down to the bottom and it will bring up a heads up display of all of the images in your current project. Um, so that's really it. I think that's enough to get you guys started. To get out of full screen mode, you can either push the F button again or hit the escape key and you are back to your main view. So I hope this helps and gives you an idea of how to use Aperture. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.